Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And we have a math problem here. We have a circle here, and we don't know what the radius is. And we gotta find it. We got a few clues to help us out here. They tell us that AB, that length is four, CD has a length of one here, and AD is equal to DB, and we can put that here as such, with ding and that. All right, so with just that information, can we calculate what the radius of the circle is? So if you wanna pause this and see if you can figure it out first, I highly encourage that, but we're gonna go solve it now. And I'm gonna show you some problem solving techniques along the way. So one thing I want to note is talking about here this chord AB and the segment CD. Okay. If the segment CD or radius, if it continued onto the circle, if we did, if that is perpendicular to a chord, it cuts in half, those things happen vice versa. So a radius is perpendicular to a chord if it divides it exactly in half. And so we have this divide exactly in half, it's perpendicular here, so that means CD would continue on to touch the circle zero, and that's gonna be important in a little bit. So it's good to note that. What else can we extrapolate from this? Well, AB has a length of four, and since AD and DB are, well, equal, the side lengths there, that means each one of those is equal to two, half of four. So we put a two here and a two here. Now, there's many ways to solve actually this problem here, but the way I'm gonna focus on for this video here is using coordinate geometry. And so what we're gonna do is actually create an XY plane here, an XY plane, right? Around where the origin is gonna be right at our A value. So if I make a little line here, all right, call this our Y axis. And our X axis can be across here that a, line AB, and I'll make a little dash here so we can kind of, so you see, all right? Okay. Now with that, we're gonna say the origin, A is our coordinate point zero, zero, right here. So A is our zero, zero. What, how can we figure out what the other values are? So if A is a coordinate point zero, zero, okay? What about D, D right here, is two units over to the right. So D has a coordinate value of X is two, our Y value is still zero. C, we're gonna go up there, up one. And so here, look right here. We have two comma zero while we have it. Going up one is me two comma one. So C is a two comma one. And lastly, our B value here, that is gonna be all the way over four comma a zero. So that's a B value is equal to a four comma zero. Now how does this, well, help us? What can we do with that? Well, we have to use the formula for the equation of a circle. So I'm gonna write this over here, here. And a formula for a circle is X e, uh, minus H, I almost said equal, squared, X minus H all squared, plus a Y minus a K, all squared, make sure I have the formula right, is equal to an r squared, where r is our radius and our center is an h comma a k, and r is equal to the radius, okay? So that's a little thing we wanna know here. We're gonna be using that actually quite often here, multiple times to really get values out from, from there to find different information that we need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deal with, well, a, our point zero, zero. So the first part here, let's separate that out. I'm gonna deal with A here. And A is a zero, zero. It's a point on the circle. And what is that gonna do and help us here? Well, our equation for the circle, we replace X and Y with, well, zero and zero. So zero minus an H all squared, plus a z uh, zero, <laughs> not Y, zero for the Y minus a K, all squared is equal to R squared. Now, zero minus h is a negative zero, but we know if we're squaring that, it can be, or sorry, negative h. Zero minus h is a negative h, not negative zero, that's impossible. But we square that, it becomes a positive h squared, okay? So really the negative doesn't really matter here. So h squared for, we have in the formula, plus a k squared is equal to an r squared. That's a 
formula one, let's call it. Okay, we have our first one here going on. We have our first equation, all right? So let's go with the other points. The next one I chose to use here, I believe, is our B value. So the same idea, I'm gonna take my B value and plug it into our equation. So B is x comma, uh, four comma zero, x comma y. So we have the equation, let me mark that off here. And we have, uh, I'll make a little square if I can, to highlight it. X minus an H, X is a four. So we have a four minus an H value squared plus a Y, which is zero minus a K all squared is equal to an R squared. From there, we want to simplify this out. We can multiply four minus H all squared, which is a 16 minus an eight H plus an H squared. Plus here, well, like we did before, is a k squared is equal to an r squared. Now from here, I keep r squared by itself, but I reorder this to have our h's, our squared values first. So we have an h squared plus a k squared. Let's go down the line. Minus an 8h plus a 16 is equal to r squared. And here is we're going to have our kind of our equation two. All right, second equation, refer to it there. Lastly, for Substituting this equation, I'm going to do the other point, and the point I chose was 2 comma 1 our c value. It's going to help us. It's actually the only other one we can do because it has to be on the circle or the center. Note that there. So we're going to use that 2 comma 1 here. So again, we have the equation uh, x value. This is our c we're using here. So this is the c one. C equals I'm right here a 2 comma 1. So our x value is a 2 right there minus the h all squared plus the y value which is one minus the k all squared is equal to r squared from there we're going to multiply this out again like we did before two minus h all squared is a four minus a two h plus an h squared plus same idea here a one minus k all squared is one minus a two k plus a k squared is equal to an r squared now I rearrange this to put my h and k's first. So I have an h squared plus a k squared. Rearranging this, make sure I got them all. Then minus a 2h minus a 2k, yep, minus 2k. Is it 2h or 4h? Oh, it's 4h. Woo, almost made a mistake. I think I checked my notes really quickly. That's a 4h. If you caught that mistake, let me know down in the comment section below. But here's a 4h, I apologize. So we have 4h minus 2k. Uh, minus 4h minus 2k, then plus a 4. Good thing I checked my notes. Plus 1 <laughs> equals r squared. All right, this is our third equation here. That's a, a big doozy of equation, if I can fit it in without crossing things out. All right, so we have all of our equations here. Now what we have to do is, well, how can we rearrange these in a way to get a value that we want? So I'm going to first deal with equation 1 and 3. Notice h squared plus k squared equals an R, or actually one and two, I guess, sorry, one and two. H squared plus K squared equals an R squared, and H squared plus K squared minus, oh, notice that's repeated here. So I would take this second equation instead of H plus K, H squared plus K squared, which is equal to R squared, I'm putting an R squared right there. So I have an R squared minus an eight H plus a 16 equals an R squared. All right, and now hopefully you can see is these values cancel each side the r squared and now i'm left with just the variable h so we have minus 8h i subtract 16 to both sides equals a negative 16 and h here divided by both sides by a negative 8 and we get a positive 2 right there so our h value we have the first coordinate point of the center circle is a positive 2. now what about the k value so this is where we're going to use the well, third and first equation, plug in what we know also with h. So same idea, third equation right here, okay? Third equation, but h plus k, we know is equal to r squared, so we have an r squared minus, and h is two, four times a two, minus a two k, plus a four, plus one, which is a five, and put that here. Could have simplified that out last time. My bad, but it's all good, equals an r square all right now r squared r squareds can cancel simplify what we have negative four times two is a negative eight minus a 2k plus five is equal to zero 
Negative 8 plus 5 is a negative 3. Add that over to the right, it's positive 3. So we have negative 2k equals a positive 3. Divide both sides by a negative 2. And we have k equals a negative 3 halves. So our coordinate point here is 2 comma negative 3 halves for the center of the circle, which makes sense. It's two units over, and then would come down some negative value here if this was our x, y axis, okay? So now we have the center of the circle. We wanna find, well, the radius, right? We need to find the radius to find the area. Well, luckily we have a nice little formula here for h and k that involves a radius. We can plug those values in. So h squared plus k squared equals r squared, our radius. So we have a two squared plus a negative three halves squared is equal to my r squared. Two squared is a four. Negative three halves all squared is a positive nine fourths is equal to an r squared. We add these two together right here. Four plus a nine fourths is a 25 fourths is equal to r squared. We square root both sides here and we have r is equal to square root of 25 over 4, which each one's a perfect square, which is great, which is 5 halves. Or, if you need to see that, that's a 2.5. So if r is a 5 halves, or 2.5 here, we can use that to find the area of the circle. And, uh, oh, no, <laughs> done. Well, we could use to find the area circle, but I just need to find the radius. I already got it. <laughs> Went a little too far here. So r equals 5 halves, or a 2.5, and that's units. So the radius, I keep thinking I'll find the area, which we could find, right? Pi r squared. But we wanted just the radius here. So the radius of the circle is 2.5 units, and we got our answer. And this is one of the methods to solve this problem here, using the x, y, axis coordinate points. If you have another way that you think you can solve this problem, please let me know down in the comment section below. And if you want me to make another video on how to solve it a different way, well, let me know. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So as always here, thanks for watching.